Well, welcome back. Uh, this is part two. I've literally stopped filming part one and now I'm cracking straight on. So in reality, there was just time to blow my nose, have a quick swig of water and away we go. These are all the new castings, I say, from the G case that Mick has very, very, very kindly, oh, excuse me, kindly sent me. Let's get on with some cars. And there we go. G case. Okay. I think by the looks of it, we're probably catching up to you in the States, which would make a a, a nice change. Um, all on short cards. Um, so I can see straight away that Chevy bow tie. And there we go. I'm reading that as 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition. Well, I'm going to make it even more a special edition because them wheels, I hate them. I know there'll be people out there going, no, soul. It's a beautiful casting, a beautiful car, some nice casting details without anything other than the bog standard Hot Wheels finish. But I love this car and I think, again, I've got Greenline multi-packs. I think some Ford spoke wheels on here, possibly. But some serious alloys, again, I will try and do two dry wheeling swaps for you on video and see how successful I am at doing it cack-handed. I'll put some markers out on my table. So I know I have to keep within them lines so that you can see what's going on. But that is a beautiful casting ruined by some junk wheels. Would you see anything like that in real life? The car, yes. The wheels, hell no. So they're going to go. And I shall enjoy that casting so much more for it. Reaching into this vast box. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well... There we go. Uh, I've got four, four, maybe five skull shakers. I started collecting them when I couldn't get enough bone shakers. And I've actually really took to these silly little things uh, where they're all on display. And this is one I haven't got. Um, I told you before, I've seen a guy, a British customizer who takes the actual guy who shakes his skull out. And replaces them with a full-sized, believe it or not, um, bone shaker interior. There we go. Always nice artwork on these short cards, usually. Um, Xbury Motors. I'm not taking you around it. You know these. Some people will absolutely hate them. Some people will see them as a bit of fun like I do. So we'll slide them all the way over because, like I say, I've got tons to get through. The man's had a buying fest. Oh, look at this, eh? You know, does it get any better than this? Um, <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, beautiful bony. Lovely artwork. Nice gold frame wheels. Lovely tampos. Bit of hot wheel action on the rear pillar there. Hmm. Nice, nice coloured rear there with the fuel tank. They usually do that in chrome. That's a beautiful piece, Mick. You know, I love these things. We've all got some we should be ashamed of. I'm not even ashamed that I love them. This, look at this. Now, this is so custom. It's unbelievable. Stretched out front axle, totally unnatural, I'm guessing. And this is a 42 Willys MB Jeep. Do Willys actually put this out or is it a custom job? I'd be amazed if Willys did. Obviously a dragster because that looks like a parachute on the back to me. Anybody knows any more of that? Please feel free to let me know. But yeah, the fact that it's got Willys, or is it Wileys? I've heard it called that by an American cousin. Could be. I think it's more fun to call it Willy's. But that's just my schoolboy humour. 
and you can sit there for a minute and reaching in yeah yes the 91 gmc cyclone with a trendy spelling of cyclone i can see where the wheels are aimed at being at cyclonic there's a little suggestion there of the cyclone tampo lots of detailing on the back there i hope you can see that i think so nice gmc badge on the front there i think that's a nice little classy piece i like its simplistic color I don't like to see cyclonic wheels. I think if I did, again, another sympathetic wheel swap on that, that would lift it above into the zones of reality. I may, I may not. I'm undecided on that one. But yes, yes, indeed. Let's move these across. I like the fact that we can have a second look while I'm moving on. Uh -uh -uh. Yes, and you know, when this Corvette, or the Greenwood Corvette came out, I didn't like it at all, I can't even tell you why, you know, you know them occasions where you just look at something and instantaneously you take a dislike to it, but you can't really say why, um, and I honestly can't say why, because I've grown to adore this casting, I have about... Four ones, all the more recent ones, they keep doing the recolour. Hot Wheels, you keep doing that recolour, sir. I love the Greenwood Corvette now. Um, Gary's Hot Wheels collection, he just did a wonderful show about his collection of Corvettes. And if anything, it made me fall in love with them. But the Greenwood, it's so different. It looks, look at that artwork, it's so mean. The casting mirrors the artwork for once, and I love that. Who knows, I might even end up with a case of just Corvettes and Greenwoods. That would make me happy. Yes, I saw this on the American previews when the G case came out. This is one piece I would have wished for. Some details on the front there. Some details on the back there and a lovely simplistic metallic gold. Complimentary wheels, not realistic. I might do a wheel swap on this. I might have a day of wheel swapping and show you it, eh? Hmm. Who knows? 89 Porsche 944 Turbo. Bertie, I don't know whether this casting is crude, too crude for you, sir, but... I'd be amazed if you don't get this or you haven't already got it. You're a very, very resourceful man. Living in London, please, please, please keep extra safe. I know the people there are totally ignoring the warnings. That doesn't mean say you have to. Please keep safe, Bertie. Love what you do. And another shout out to AJ's Garage because... He is a gentleman. He is a true, true English gentleman. Lovely fella. Smashing content. Buying up the premiums as and when. And giving us a wonderful showdown and comparison. AJ's Garage. Big respect to you, sir. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful flames. I've enjoyed the um, 71 El Camino. Very much lately. Uh, I didn't start collecting them till recently. I love the fact that this camera lets you come right up. Look at the size of that. But in reality, we know it's 164. Crazy jet motors in the back. Um, <laughs> I love this colour. I really do. I think this is one of the better ones to do. I like the green one as well, which I've got to say, I've got about four or five of these now. I just like picking them up as and when. It's not burning hole in me that I have to. I see one out on the shelf. I think, I ain't got that. I'm going to take that. So we'll move these across again. Because, like I say, mick has gone absolutely mental. But in a great way. I hope you're all tuning in to Mick, by the way. You know he operates at a different end of the market. He fills a hole in the market, I believe. Um... 
a lot of my collection um, desirable castings are, are gotten me by Mick when he buys his lots up so this it just shows you there's room for everything it doesn't mean you know we can all just keep buying new castings if there's something you seek then Mick may just be your man I know I've got a, a lot of uh, gaps in my collection that are being filled by the, the man so again keep checking him out you're going to hate this, you're all going to go, ah, so what are you doing? <laughs> it's a shaker, isn't it? What can I do? Hey, when you're afflicted with an addi addiction. Obviously, this is the second ever pixel shaker. There's the name on the bottom. The second ever pixel shaker, the first one being that red one. And I hated it. I thought, what an abomination. And it's only when you get it out, you know, I thought, go on, it's a quid. What's a quid? I mean, you can't even buy a bloody loaf of bread or a pint of milk in England for a quid now. There is none. There is. But they're just restocking now after the crazy people have gone in full full on. It's the end of the world. Well, what good's 40 pints of milk and 20 loaves of bread going to do you if it's the end of the world? Wake up. Wise up. Please, you're in embarrassment. Anyway, so this is the second colouring. A nice, bold blue i love it i really love it and i love these crazy different tinted blue wheels i say it's only when you take these out of the packets and put them in a case you think i get it i totally get it now if you look at it close up it's kind of wild and wacky and then when you look at it from a long way away in the case it kind of makes sense i don't know how or why Somebody in the design team must have thought, oh, I don't know if I want to take this one to the management, but I'm glad they did. Oh, was we talking about Corvettes? Is that not a thing of beauty? Look at the detailing on the other day, the bads. Um, I think they're tampoed headlights. Lovely, mean-looking front end. Superb. Paintwork, uh, cockpit, look at that. Oh, I'm into this. I am so into this. Little bit of a rear boot uh, spoiler there. The wheels, completely inoffensive. The fact that they're blacked out makes it more street-wise, if you like, street mean. Look at that beautiful tampo work on the back again. The Corvette badge and the Corvette name spelled out. And so we have a 19 Corvette ZR1 convertible. I can't say I've ever seen one of these in real life. Or in Toy Town. Oh, I'm loving that. That is a pretty, pretty thing. I would say Hot Wheels, well done on this case so far, people. Because the details you're putting on some of these cars are absolutely blinding. There seems to be more quality... Tampo work and details back and front. Maybe you're listening to Joe Public. Um, either way, I'm all for it. Um, is this G-Case? Yes, it is. I'm only saying because I have got one that is so similar to this. This being the custom Ford Maverick. Maybe it's a reappearance. Um... I can't look at mine and re-examine it because obviously the packaging goes in the bin. I love this casting. I love the matte black. The flames are not over the top. The loud against the black. I think that's... I mean, look at that scoop at the front there at the bottom. Again, the wheels. They kind of go with it. I'm not over-infused by the wheels, but that casting is supreme. I love that. Oh... Move these out of the way. I've noticed when I put lots of stuff in the background and the background's busy, the camera doesn't focus as well. However, I have got daylight streaming in over my rear shoulder. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And the quality just continues. There we go. As you can see, a 2017 Nissan GTR R35. And that says a 2020 model 50th anniversary version. So that's a little bit special from the Hot Wheels Speed Graphic 10 of 10. That is 
mega main and you'll see what I'm talking about the artwork the car actually mirrors the artwork again 100% wheels again sort of subdued and in the background I like that would you look at that detail there by golly I'm sure they're tampoed but it almost looks like lens they have got lenses within lenses number plate suggestion the badge and the make and model and then you come around the front and look at that as well oh hot wheels this is die cast perfection please 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 maintain this standard on your realistic cars again it's a potential for a more sporty wheels swap i don't know i, I like that i think that is a wicked wicked casting brilliant oh i'm having a, a good day a good day here i'm collecting these as well uh i think i've got about and everybody says it i know it's cliche i've got several i do think this is my seventh casting of the 1964 chevy nova wagon um i've got the crazy art car series this one's from the hot wheels flames very very unusual orange color um I don't know if that's custom paint they've mixed, but I've never quite, me personally, I've never quite seen an orange in that shade. And it's only when you look at it that angle that it kind of mirrors the card artwork. Tampo detail, very busy. But it's another SS wagon and that's just fine and dandy for me. Loving it. Oh, I forgot to put these out across the front, didn't I? Oh, Bertie's Hot Wheels. I bet you're having a Porsche gasm. Uh, that is another good casting. Um, obviously a 96 Carrera. The wheels are fairly accurate, I do believe. If that's wrong, Bertie, please don't tell me off. I can't deal with another aberration. You get the Porsche badge, you get a couple of uh, headlights in painted detail. Good clean casting, everything's there. Yellow, awkward colour to spray. I know from my own customs. And this may be the odd pot. Oh, excuse me, put my teeth in. There's the odd panel line there where you might see a little bit of potentially grey bleed through, I would suggest. But there you go, they've got that Porsche rear vent grille, the wraparound light bar and features with the Carrera logo. Bertie, I'd be surprised if you haven't got this already, say it. I know it's not one of your top, top premiums, but the two Porsches I've shown, I like them. I like them a lot. Oh, and the cars just keep, yeah, the cars just keep coming. Have a day, yeah. <laughs> Casting number two, like the pixelated shaker, I got the original red one. And here's a nice recolor, good fun piece. That's only a bit of fun. Uh, let's just take them for what they are. You either love them or hate them. I'm loving it. You know, you know my fascination with mobile homes, motor homes, RVs. It's a kind of Mickey Mouse version of that really, isn't it? But yeah. I'm enjoying it. Oh, do we carry on? Do we carry on? Right, I've got one left in here. Let's put the box away. Big old box. And probably for me, this is just me, I've saved the best for last because I have... Uh, ooh, maybe four castings, five castings. This will probably be my fifth casting. And they always seem to come as police cars. But this is one of my absolute loves now. It's such an evocative car of America. Uh, all the way back from the 50s. I would love to floor one of these on the open road. Talking about the Hudson Hornet. 
There we go. Oh, people. How I love this car. Again, it's one of these timeless American icons. I don't know how many are out on the road in America. I would be thrilled to bits to see one in real life. I would be even more thrilled to have a look inside one. And I would be ultimately thrilled to get behind the wheel and say, give it some gas. <laughs> I don't know where to begin. I mean, I'm speechless. Okay, so we've got... Red Edge wheels, they don't take anything away from the piece. I think it's a beautiful, a beautiful casting with some beautiful detailing on there. I, again, for me, Hot Wheels have got this so, so right. Uh, <laughs> lordy. Chrome working as the detail, I suppose. Um, beautiful, beautiful front end. On it on the bonnet. Lovely tampos, hot wheels, eight one seven, eight one seven, and on it across the hood. Hudson on it, self advertising, hot wheels, rod squad. Oh, I love this. I say most of them in my collection tend to be police, fire chief cars, as was used in the fifties. But this is absolutely thrilling. So Mick. You have done me so good this time. I am in awe of everything you've sent me. And big credence to your brother. Thank you so much. I cannot express my gratitude. Um, so that's part two done. 22 minutes just coming up right. No. Nope. And I must cut you short there. Uh, take care as always. Uh, I haven't forgotten the Led Zeppelin review and we shall be doing some wheel swaps to try and show you the dry swap method that was shown to me by Fireman Food and it works. Yes, it means sacrificing two wheels. You can keep two wheels and mix and match them. God knows what wheels do. Let me just move these across here. Oh, come on, come on. zoom out yeah we can zoom out a little bit and look at that hot wheels happy day what a generous generous guy mick and nicky i love them both of them um they certainly rock my world so i'll bid you adieu goodbye au revoir please keep safe people please keep taking the messages serious i'd hate to lose anybody in this community uh Scary times, people. Let's cheer each other up. Ta-da for now. Bye-bye.